Hey everybody, good morning. Good morning. Everybody ready to hunt some halves? I see Penny Dog in the house. It's Susie Q, Andy Andy, Carpy Tim, <laughs> Mike the Greek. Welcome, welcome. Can y'all hear me okay? Everybody hear me? Sound good, good, good. All right. Since it's Easter, I thought I'd bring my uh, peep out here. Since tomorrow's Easter, and thought we'd get that up there. Hopefully, it'll bring us some good luck and find some silver in this row. And I also got my penny dog coin roll opener and brought us some good luck last live stream. So, hopefully, we will be able to do the same thing. Hopefully there's some enders in here as well. So, hey, so why don't we just get to it and see where we go. Greg King, hey, welcome, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, it's, it's a good box of hats because it's so hard to get into. Now, this has been sitting on my uh, counter in here for a while. And let's see. Now I don't see anything that looks silver. There might be a couple of NIFCs in here. So, I don't know. Let's put it over to the side and drop the coin roll uh, opener on the floor. Let's put this under here like this. That way it won't be a mess. Uh, all right. Let's get into this and see what we got. Pick up my corner holder off the floor. I see where is Agent Max and Agent Watson? Well, they are upstairs. Maybe they will make an appearance if the doors open up there and they walk down. We will see what we can do before the end of the stream. How's that? So what's everybody up to this morning? And we start off with a corn explosion. Right off the bat. So we'll see what ended up happening before this is over. Oh, first five of the bunch. The 2008. Already on the board with an NIFC. Grab my thing. We'll put that on the board. Maybe a little bit of a good sign. Penny Dog says it's moving slow this morning. It's cold and gross. And I think it's pretty cold cold here too. But luckily enough, it's not cloudy. It looks like it's pretty sunny outside. But it definitely is gross. Mr. Tim is hunting pennies today. That's good. 
I always hope you find a lot of Wheaties in there. Hopefully we'll find some silver in all this. Yeah, I've been in and the stay at home orders, Penny Dog. I am sure that we will all be on 600 pound life. I don't know whether they're not going to be uh, coming to my house to contact me directly or if they will just be, uh, you know, I have to contact them. S. Robbins, good morning, good morning. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Penny Dog, for giving me a shout out over here. I see a lot of her people. Texas Coin Man. Glad to have all of you here. If y'all do not know, I do have a 400 giveaway i think we are 25 away from that goal hopefully we'll be there real soon nothing from the side view this looks like a little interesting it's a little thicker than all the others let's see what this is and it is 1974 Dorman CA, thank you for coming. Yes, I appreciate Penny Dog's thing. I know she said she wasn't going to stream today because she didn't have any halves. And I said, well, I still have this box of halves here. And she said, Robert, you've got to go and start doing some live streams. You should do it. Take my channel time. Oh, look what we got. Look what we got. You know what this means? It's a swampy, swampy. Coin. Swampy coin. Yep, that's, what, that's why we wear gloves, right? It's all because it's a, money is a dirty thing. So yesterday, I went and dumped a bunch of my coins. Uh, I know a lot of people say they're having a lot of problems with that, but uh, actually it went fairly well yesterday, actually. What they did was uh, I called them up and asked, told them that I had some coins I wanted to drop off, and it's usually with my drop bank that I always use. So they know me pretty well there. And they said, well, just you know, come on by when you're ready and just give us a call when you, you know, you get there and we will uh, open the door for you. So I went, drove over there yesterday. Uh, I was all gloved and masked up. Um, but then from the side view, uh, but I was all gloved and masked up. They opened the door, they let me in. I came in, dropped off my coins. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, of course, it's again at this strange time we live in. You know, it's one of the only times where you can go into a financial institution gloved, mass scup, and you know, there's no problems and nobody's asking you any questions whatsoever. But uh, yeah, it went, it went fine. Now I got an order in to my order bank. Uh, so we'll see what happens next week with that. Uh, ordered a couple more boxes of halves. 
and I ordered a box of quarters since the new W quarters have come out. Now, North Carolina, where I live at, you know, they uh, are usually not ones to get the W quarters or new quarters right away. Uh, so it usually takes me a couple of months to actually have them and show up and see what happens, but I guess we'll see what happens. See what's going on in the chat. Let's see here. Well, looks like everybody's just hanging out, talking to each other. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see if we have anything from the side view. Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, Brad. Brad, welcome to the channel. Yep, he used to go and exchange some rolls himself. You know, you know, if you have a good relationship with your your uh, financial institution that you do, you know, and and they're real nice to you. You know, they. Uh oh. You see what we got here? More swamp stuff. More swampy, swampy swamp stuff. Coming to get us. anyone on the channel ordered any boxes yet and had uh, any success or any horror stories they'd like to share Uh, you see my coin cam over here. This is from our last live stream. There was a very interesting error slash looks like a grease strike to me. So I thought I'd just leave that underneath there so everybody could take a look at it. Hopefully after this stream is over, we'll have some breakfast. I don't know if y'all had breakfast yet. If you did, nothing from the side view. What did you have? And another good question is, did you bring it in? Do you have a DoorDash, Grubhub, all those things brought in, or did we make it ourselves? Yeah, that's, that's, I heard about that, Pink Dog. You told me that uh, your uh, Freedom Coins, I think, is the one who uh, uh, shipped you a box of halves overnight. And so far, they haven't showed up. But hopefully, they're insured, right? Brad says he's having a big breakfast burrito. That sounds pretty good. Pretty good. We always like breakfast burritos. Well, at least they were insured. That's great. Good. Jimmy Lasari, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming over. See a lot of new people in here. Wasn't in here last time or on my stream. I don't know if you're subscribed to me. If not, please hit that subscribe button and that bell. And look at some of my interesting videos. Uh, one of the major ones I got up there I think a lot of people would find interesting is I have a 
uh, devil headed, devil dated nickel, uh, war nickel actually. Uh, out there on one of my videos, so take a look at that. I think you'll find that interesting. I know uh, I did. It's one of the things that got me, you know, looking into coin hunting and stuff like that. I don't see anything from the side view. What is it? Torn up 79 and a bicentennial. First set of five dollars of pennies yesterday. I had seven Wheaties, four Canadians, four 2009s, a 1999 wide AM. Wow, that's cool. And also an 88 wide AM. But the Canadians were 1932, 1945, 1967. A rock dove. Alfred R will be happy that you 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 uh, put it correctly. That it is a rock dove and not a bird scent. And an 85. Wow, that's, those are great finds. There. Hopefully that uh, your next bunch that you're having, you'll have just enough. Let's see. The Wheaties were a 1929. That's a good. A 1935D. 937 and 41. Wow. That's pretty good. You know, in all the boxes of pennies that I have been through, I have yet to find a wide AM uh, or the uh, close AM. Right, right. I haven't found any. Doesn't look like there's anything from the side view. Well, thank y'all for coming. I appreciate y'all being in the channel. Have we been watching any movies or anything lately since we're all shut in in our houses? Or are we watching mostly YouTube? And channels and stuff like that. See, Storm and CA says I can still pick up some boxes here. We'll be picking them up again today. California doesn't have uh, doesn't have drive-through windows. Drive-through are only ATMs, so a lot of these still have to be open. Well, that's a good thing. I hope everybody's staying safe though and six feet apart, the way they should be. I don't know if anybody was watching Ralph Ice Cheshire's channel last night, but when I went to bed, uh, he hadn't found anything. Does anyone know if he found anything in his rolls last night? See anything from the side view? Penny Dog says Rob found Trevor found 190 percenter. Well, that's better than nothing. It wasn't a fully skunked night. Hopefully, we won't be skunked as well. Don't want any skunks. No, 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 Mr. Skunk. We don't want to see anything to do with you at all. I know how much you love us, coin hunters to be doing those 
dump boxes, but that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to find some silver, do some giveaways, and oh, you know what that means. More swamp. Tim says he had a Benji Ender. He didn't check on the last box. Wow, a Benji Ender. That's awesome. In one of my first live streams, I had a Walker Ender, and that was a pretty epic box. That had to be somebody's collection dump or something because, I mean, there was just, I forgot how many rolls that we, we found uh, thing in. That was probably the best box I ever have. Uh, most of mine, I usually find on average about one silver a box is what I find. Come on. Uh, I don't see anything from this side view. Appreciate everybody coming. I'm hoping we find something. We gotta find something. That way I won't be sitting here on my channel if we don't find no silver and keep finding no silver while I'll be sitting around being all by myself. All by myself. I don't wanna be all by myself anymore. Hopefully YouTube won't bang me for copyright infringement. <laughs> uh. As y'all talking in here, make sure that y'all are checking each other's channels out. Give them some sub love. Again, I have a 500, not 500, excuse me. I do have a 500 giveaway, but I gotta get to 400 first. So I did have a 400 giveaway um, video out there. And Penny Dog, if you don't mind, could you put that link up in the chat so everybody can get in there and get registered for that? Because we're giving away this right here. One of these 2020 US Mint American Beautiful Proof Sets. So if you're interested in that, there's a video out there for the 400 subscribers. I think we're 25 away the last time I looked, and so we're not too far off. Hope we'll get there soon, and I can give that sucker away. And then once I get to the 500 box, I have a one ounce round, one of the time rounds, uh, that uh, I'm going to give away. And that's not within easy reach of me, so I can't show that. At least not yet. Maybe toward the end of the stream I might get to it. Tim says, I'm going to start seeing uh, Baby Shark if you keep that up. Well, I'm, I'm sure you probably don't want to uh, hear me singing anyway. <laughs> I'll look up and find out that I've lost 20 viewers already since... Yeah. Nobody really wants to hear me sing. Well, that's the first 10 rows down. No silver yet. I'm hopeful this next row will open up and we'll find something. Let's see here. Susan Q's, my channel's been stuck at 454 for a while. 44 giveaway today starting at 84 Eastern. Okay, so everybody check out Susan Q's channel. She's got a giveaway going on. 
So get her some sub love. Let's get her to try to get her to 500. Let's do that. I'm already subscribed to you, Susan Q. So that's all I can do right now. Hopefully we'll get you there soon. John Reese says, YouTube took away the ability to do, click on a person's name and go to the channels. Wow. I didn't know that. When did they do that? Because I, I thought it was up just like a couple of days ago. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Pity Dog, what is Mr. Brutus and Bella doing today? I hope they are lounging around and getting lots of snacks. Well, I tell you, I don't know if y'all have noticed. Now, one thing I've noticed tonight, the last couple of weeks, is live streams. Now, usually I can go into my either the home channel or my subscriptions uh, tab, and they'll have on it, you know, who's streaming live will be right there at the at the top part of the uh, thing. But nowadays, it's they're not even there anymore. I've happened to actually, you know, if I know somebody's live streaming, I'll even have to actually go to their channel page to actually find uh, find the stream and get on it. It's I don't know what they're up to or what the deal is, but I hope they get that part fixed, and I hope they get the part fixed that you can click on somebody's name and go to their channel. Because there's been a lot of times I've been in people's thing and says want to check out and you touch it and tell it to go to the channel and it doesn't take you out of the stream but you can still go there and sub to them and make sure that you get a hold of them let's see what else going on in here in the chat so brad said about three to four days ago is when this started Yeah, it seems like they're trying to make it harder to do stream work. I, I agree with you there, Tim. Bella is currently outside barfing. And Bruce is sleeping, so basically being dogs. Yeah, that's, that is very true. Very true. Hopefully, uh, Bella isn't sick or hasn't been out there eating something she shouldn't be. Hello, Jay Edwards. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. All right, let's get back to this roll here. I don't see anything from the side view. So I don't know if you, you so speaking of fur babies and barfing and eating things that they are not supposed to, Agent Watson, as y'all have seen on my videos uh, at the ending and stuff like that, Agent Watson ate his dog tag. Uh, and we actually had to go in and have it removed out of his stomach. As such, I have nicknamed Agent Watcher Mr. 3000 because that's how much it costs to get a dog tag out of a dog. But he was really sick, really wasn't doing well. Uh, they'll think we have that dog tag somewhere around here in the house. Unless it got lost in the move, which could have happened. Tim, ouch. Ouch is right. Just think how many boxes of halves I could have had with that money. Nothing from the side view. Do 
Nothing from the side view. Six, you did, well, you know math is hard. I'm, not, I'm borrowing that from Penny Dog's channel, but math is hard. Hopefully, uh, Penny Dog will not uh, get me for copyright infringement. <laughs> yep, there she goes. Math is hard. Okay, Jay Edwards, the coin under uh, uh, under the microscope is one I found in the last month's, uh, last month's, last stream that we have here. I'll bring it up to full screen on the uh, thing. It looks to me to be a, some sort of grease strike that uh, I found. Uh, it's very interesting, but that's the only thing I can see because the rim is still intact. And it's just there with the other, it's a, a totally of a 1980, it's probably an 88 or an 89. I don't know, what do y'all think? Mr. Q says, Temporal Barbie in the house. Yeah. Could very well be. Nothing from the side view. Could be an 88 there, Mr. Greg King. Welcome to the channel. Oh yes, yes, Penny Dog. I can I can see that. Not wanting to homeschool children. I don't have any children that are in school. That's a interesting tone. Sixty uh, seventy four. Look at that, guys. Looks like it was in the ground at some time. Maybe a metal detecting find. Can you imagine, uh, and I've heard a lot of parents that I do know that I have friends with that does have kids that have been doing this, that the new Common Core math is driving them insane. And they're ready to, wow, that's an awful shiny. I think that's a proof. Let's put this on the thing. I think we found a proof, guys. Yep, that's what we did. 1981 S proof. Not silver, but it is a proof. That's pretty cool. Let's get that on the board. Now we need to find a miscellaneous, a couple of others, and we'll have a fill the board. Pretty cool. I found a proof already. I think I have this real already. Got distracted. Let's see. Mike the Greek says common core math is horrible. Yeah, it is true. See, S. Robin says, the coolest thing happened to me today. My neighbor is a member of the, what is that, Rudetons, and dropped off 24 uh, mega rolls of toilet paper, plus a bunch of other paper products. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's great that people are helping people out and not doing this hoarding and keeping stuff to themselves. That's great to know that there are still people out there looking out for each other. And that's what we all should be doing. That's one thing I like about this 
great coin community is that we are you know out there looking out for each other and being there for each other that's that's really cool Edward says, I went to the collectible shop in my town. It does not specialize with coins, but one day they had an air quarter Canadian colored, and it was a thing like on the 19. Oh, okay, I see you pay $5 for it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Susan Q says, S. Robbins, I couldn't get Amazon to ship toilet paper my zip code for who knows why. So my friends in Florida sent me a case of a row of TP. That is awesome. Let's see anything from the side view. Well, around here we have a, uh, and I think it's out there available for everybody. There's an application that's called Next Door. Oh, look at that. You know what that means? The swamp coin. But this next door app is usually about you register with your thing and then all your neighbors around are in it also and they sort of tell you what's going on in the neighborhood what to watch out for stuff like that and right now a lot of them have been saying you know helping people out as far as you know i'm low on lysol i'm toilet paper wipes and people have been pretty nice about well hey i saw some over at this store right here i don't know if any of them will still be there but you know to get out there so if y'all ain't heard about that app y'all might want to take a look at it. it might be helpful hopefully it is nothing from the side view Samuel Phillips, welcome to the chat, says, I'm working on uploading a penny hunt video, thanks to Penny Dog sending a bunch of Wheaties. Well, editing it for now, I'll upload when I'll get back to the Wi-Fi. Well, that's great, good, i check out that video. Mr. Samuel Phillips. Gina R, thank you. I hope, I'm glad you liked the video clips. I don't have the, uh, uh, just working on putting the channel together. So I'm looking for things to put in here. Things to do. We can see. 
I am getting ready to redo my intro to my videos. Uh, so we'll see how that all goes. I hope y'all like that when it gets released. Probably in the next probably video that I do. I got two boxes of nickels to uh, hunt still left. So I think that will probably be my next video to do is to hunt those those nickels. I don't think that's a proof. Yeah, Mike the Greek, that, that's a good suggestion. If anyone's looking to buy TP, TP uh, or just about anything, look at Midnight. That's uh, got mine. Uh, you know, if you think about it, you know, most of the stores are doing their stocking overnight. So, you know, if, if the store is open 24-7, you know, going in a later time will probably reduce your uh, risk of people being at the store. And the other thing is that, you know, they're, they're stocking the shelves, so you probably have a better way to do, especially in the mornings or, or something to that effect. Andy Anna says, got to go take care of the parents. Definitely got to do that. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, too. Tell the parents I said hello. And thank you for stopping in to the live stream. I appreciate it. Be safe out there. Yep, Andy, Andy, be safe. Haven't heard anything out of Treasure Tour today or this for a while I hope she's doing all right and big thank you for all that she does especially since we usually watch her on Saturdays with Penny Doll and I am streaming on their time slot hope she is doing well so that's a big shout out for her hope she's doing well and safe nothing from the side view Samuel Phillips says, all right, folks, I'm stuck at work with nothing but PB and J and cookies and my blood sugar is getting high. So what do y'all recommend for food? Well, that's a good thing. Let's get some food challenges out there. I know the, the wife and I have been uh, doing a little Instapot cooking. Uh, we got an Instapot, really like that. We ended up making some cabbage soup the other day with some sausage and peppers in it and some Cajun spice. Always comes out well. Awful shiny, but it is not a proof. What else going on in the chat? I 
Mm, some barbecue. That would be really great. Matter of fact, so what channel was I was on? I was on some, oh, I know what I was on. Mickey, uh, Mickey Robbins Banks channel, and we were talking about Texas barbecue. I, I really like to get some Texan spotted for barbecue. That sounds really good. Nothing from the side view. Ooh, collard greens. Collard greens are good. Let's see. I got it. Uh, Jay Edwards says I got 82% in art and I went down when we started doing ink and charcoal paintings. I'm too messy and there were fingerprints everywhere. I can understand that. Definitely understand that. Yep. Down the line greens. Yep. My grandmother used to make those. See. Yeah, if you haven't checked out Penny Dog's uh, channel uh, on her new latest uh, metal detecting hunt, that was pretty good. She found some nice little finds. However, she did tell me that one of her friends out there actually found a uh, standing uh, Liberty quarter, I believe, or a dime. I can't remember which one it was. Penny Dog could probably tell you which one it was, but I mean, that was pretty spectacular. I think that's just a dirty 72. Yep, colored 72. Try to fake us out. I don't know who does that, but they need to stop. It's kind of like hunting nickels and getting a going on in chat my work has those pre-packaged sandwiches in the vending machines but I'm also kind of craving teriyaki mm, teriyaki is good pre-packaged sandwiches Ugh. I don't know are those pre-packaged sandwiches any good Yeah, Susan Q, there are many ripoffs on eBay right now. Well, eBay, Facebook. I mean, I know they're, they're taking them down. I heard a story of a guy that was put a store up on Amazon uh, who was selling uh, bottles of sanitizer and masks and stuff like that for outrageous prices. And the government came in and actually seized all of it and made him donate it. So... That's pretty cool. I'm glad that, you know, people 
don't need to be taking advantage of people in desperate times just trying to scam them out of a, a little bit of money it's just just horrible says they're not bad the pepperoni ones give me bad heartburn Ugh. well if I eat peanut butter too late at night it gives me bad heartburn I can't do it it's all right sort of during the day but can't do it at night yeah penny garlic they are especially placed in hell for those I, and I've seen it on websites too if you start googling to find um, like Lysol and stuff like that. They got all these weird uh, websites that say that they got it. And sometimes they're, they're for reasonable prices. But the problem is, uh-oh, I hear something. Look who it is. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on. He's freaking out. Come on, he, I, he does not like these gloves. He does not like these gloves. Here, I will hope I don't make everybody sick. But there's Agent Watson, and I think I hear Agent Mike coming behind him. There's Agent Mike and Agent Watson making their appearance. Oh, I hear a Zeus too. They're coming up to say hello to everybody. Yep, it was definitely a dissolved raid. However, Agent Watson evidently didn't do his job and went back in time and put some silvers in this box. Because we're coming up on a half a box so far and we do not have any silver. So hopefully, Hopefully it's not going to be, no, Mr. Skunk, we do not, do not want, get away from us, we do not want a skunk box today. Yes, the boys came down for a visit. Say hi to everybody. All right. Nothing from the side view. Come on, let's find something. They didn't want to sit around here and watch me talk about everything that's going on so what have y'all are going to do once this is over let's find out about that let's talk about some once we get through all this and get out of our homes and back to normalcy what is everybody going to do? What's the first thing y'all want to do when you go out after this is over?
Jedward says, coin hunt. We're going to coin hunt. That is true. We will be able to coin hunt better and not have to worry about all the things. Teen Dog says, I'm going to go to a restaurant. I think that's what most people are going to do. And I think the restaurants are going to be overwhelmed and just plain out and out packed. Oh, don't see anything from the side view. Susie Q says, I'm going to Florida and detect the metal beaches. That'd be cool. Do some metal detecting out on the beach. That's one of my things that I aim to do one of these days. My, uh, I aim to get uh, a metal detector one of these days. And once I do, I'm going to head over to my parents' property. It's been in our family for well over about 100 years. Uh, and it's about 100 acres. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to get over it. Wait a second. Uh, let's see what we got. No, nah, it's a colored 9081. Oh, well. Snuck that in on us. Uh, I'm hoping to get over there and do some metal detecting around that. There used to be a couple of old barns and a couple of things like that that I like to, to turn around and see if there's anything up there or over by where my old grandmother's house. Maybe we find some more of my old grandfather, great grandfather's coins and stuff and see if there's any of that left. So whatever else, let's see what else everybody else is doing. Uh, going to Florida, Susie Q said, let's see, we're going to stay doing what we've been doing. Work all day, sleep as much as possible with a newborn. Uh, yes, definitely. If you're going to get some sleep, I can understand that, Samuel Phillips. Absolutely. Newborns are... <sighs> you don't get much sleep. Either way. Well, we're halfway through this box. It's time for a half, half box giveaway. Y'all ready for a giveaway? All right. So, we're going to give away. Nope, that one goes. Yeah, this one's it. Yep. Giving a 1964P and a 1965, so 140% and 190%. So this is a comment video that I have. So this is, uh, I'll put that up here on the screen. So I'm gonna give a couple minutes, maybe Penny Dog can put the link to this comment video out there for everybody. And you can go and put your comment on that video. And we'll give it a little bit, give her a chance to get that out there. It's Friday's comment video. And we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get the YouTube comments right now. No comments. That can't be right. There's the comment video. Get shareable link. Taste. Well, that's very odd. There are definitely any comments there. Maybe the random comment picker is broke. Wow, that's something you don't see every, every morning. A broke random comment picker. Let's see if we can find another random comment picker. Here we 
can't reload it. Maybe that will do something for us. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, we got 20 so far unique commenters. So make sure y'all have a comment in there. We'll give a couple more minutes uh, just to go ahead and make sure that everybody's in. Giving away, like I said, 190 percenter, 140 percenter on the channel. We'll do a refresh here. We've got 20. We'll give it one more minute just to make sure everybody in the chat has a chance to get out there and Probably because I hit reload comments way too many times. There we go. All right, we're still at 20. We're going to go ahead and pick this thing. Good luck, everybody. And here we go. Found it buried. Good luck, everyone. Hope you pulled a handful of silver's halves out. Good luck. Well, found it buried. You are the winner of these two. 64-65. Hopefully you're in the chat. So y'all, uh, you need to send me a email to my email address which is right, right there, there with your YouTube name, content, content information. You got seven days after this stream to uh, send that information so I can get it out to you. Let's get back to the hunt. And hopefully we will find some silver. All we got is one NIFC and one proof at the moment. I see Super Lab Chick in the chat. Oop, coin explosion. At least none of it went on the floor. And we'll end up with a whole bunch of mess to clean up. I think in our last live stream that we did last week, last Sunday, we ended up with three silvers. Hopefully that did not take the three silvers away from my box here. Are y'all getting an echo? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see if there's anything I can do about that. Is that any better? Okay, I tried to turn up the uh, noise reduction so on the mic, so hopefully that will cause it to stop echoing as much. Good, good, good. Hopefully one of these days, uh, I know there's a little bit of this is, uh, as you can solve it, you know, it's kind of a hardwood type of laminate floor and uh, an empty uh, uh, coin room. So I do have a little bit of an echo and uh, a little bit of background noise. I've been trying to uh, solve that along the way. Hopefully the strings will get better as I go along. Maybe put in a carpet or some some kind of sound dampening around the mic some more. I don't know if you can see, I got a cage, soundproof cage over it uh, right now. So hopefully it will, uh, maybe I'll get some put it on the bottom down here to try to knock it out just a little bit more. Nothing from the side view. Come on, let's find something. Yes, Robert says, hello, 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 hello. Maybe I should be going, Ricola. Yeah, tomorrow's Easter, if you reserve it. As Penny Dog says, you're absolutely correct. Is anyone cooking anything special? Well, I tell you, uh, we have decided to, we got a ham that we're gonna be cooking. Uh, so we're probably gonna be eating ham tomorrow. Nice spiral glazed ham. Squash, mmm. Super Lab Chick says we're gonna have slosh, squash with that. For those of you who don't know, Super Lab Chick is Mrs. Temporal Agent. Uh, Temporal Coins. So obviously we're having squash along with the ham, which is good, because we like squash.
Samuel Phillips says at the factory where he works security, they are cutting a bunch of trees in the back of the property. Every time I check the area, I find cool pieces of wood. I'm going to turn it into art projects. Cool. Cool. So Samuel Phillips, do you have your art or anything displayed anywhere? Do you have a, anything that you show it off? Put it up in the chat for us. I'd like to go see some of it. Nothing again from the other side. Tim says, we just had veggie spaghetti squash two nights ago. Mmm. Spaghetti squash is good. We might have some ham, some uh, squash. I might make some Brussels sprouts. Who here likes Brussels sprouts? I know my wife doesn't, but my stepson does, and I do. Samuel says he'll post some pictures on his Instagram and show the wood pieces when he can locate the scan sander and get it completed. I, I know how that is. Sometimes finding the tools and where you put them or somebody's borrowed them and tried to get them back is usually the, the more uh, than just getting the actual stuff done. Okay, so Samuel Phillips also does photography as well. I took photography back in the college days. Uh, did some black and whites uh, still have and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Back in the 80s and 90s. Nothing from the side view. Brussels sprouts with onions, pepper, and garlic. That sounds delicious. That sounds great as well. Wait a second. I see something peeking out of the bag back here. Might be an NIFC. It is an NIFC. We got another NIFC in this bunch, guys. A 2008 NIFC. That makes two NIFCs and one proof. Fortunately, no silver yet. Got to find some silver. Got to find some silver. When I saw that peeking out the back was obviously something worthwhile. Of course, I know that some people don't collect NIFCs. I do. Um, however, I'm only looking to fill the board and make sure I have one of each. It's not something that I'm going to keep multiples of or anything to that effect. And my wood wood burning kit and I have it somewhere.
King Song says, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yes, I know, I'm old. Back in the 80s and the 70s. You know, where we had to walk uphill both ways just to get to school. You know, uh, somebody posted it on Facebook the other day. I thought it was pretty good. You know, if this was just, you know, done, you know, back in the 90s, we'd be stuck at home with dial-up internet, Nokia phones with only a, like a 100-minute uh, cell phone usage and 300 uh, cap text messages. You know, I, I say every day, you know, we're sort of lucky with everything going on that we have the technologies and the services that we do, such as Amazon to deliver stuff and Instacart to deliver your groceries and um, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. You know, if it wasn't for that kind of technology, can you imagine what you would be doing right now and what you're going to be able to do. You can watch YouTube videos or all that other stuff. Definitely would make this a lot more harder than it is. Yeah, super left chick. Yes, you do. You still have some of my old black and white photos. Thought I lost those, but Mom actually found them. Well, it looks like a swamp quarter. I mean, swamp. We'll look at it just in case. Let's see if it is anything. Nope. Just a colored 71. Colored 71. Susan Q says, I graduated before most of you were born. Well, Susan Q, I, I am a gentleman and I don't ask ladies uh, what their age are. It's inappropriate. And I don't want to, those dirty looks or nasty comments on my videos either so I, I'm just not going to even going to approach that subject anymore it's amazing that every woman I meet is only 21 oh coin explosion Coins all over creation on the floor, under the table, all kinds of craziness going on. Too bad it's not silver crazy. You know, if, if this keeps up, guys, I think, no, 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 Mr. Skunk, get away from us. We don't want it. We don't want any of your stuff anywhere around us. Well, so choose the cue. I see what you posted in there, but I, I you know, I, I agree with you. You're 21 and you earned every one of those years. Absolutely. Oh, another 2008 Denver. This time, another NIFC. That makes three on the board of, of the NIFCs. Let's update the board.
We've got three on the board now. At least that's a little something. It's not silver. It's a little something. Mr. Tim says that he has t-shirts older than people that are in the stream. Now, I probably also have t-shirts older than some of the people in the stream as well. But I don't know if, if, if y'all were like me, you know, my, my parents told me, don't come back until the street lights come on. So it was about going out, having fun with the friends, and you had to be home by dark. You know, Penny Dog said it was talking about in their last channel about old uh, Merlins and stuff like that. I actually dug mine out of the out of the thing, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. Hopefully, Penny Dog will uh, have another string, get her box of halves, and be nice enough to have me on, and I'll display it then. How's that? Susie Q says that we didn't have street lights. Well, we only had one. It was down in a pole at the end of the yard. Of course, my parents live on a five acre, like I said, five acres that they have, and it's part of a hundred thing. But there was one little sort of street light that was down next to the road toward the end. And that's when that thing came on. It was, it was, you better, your butt better be back at the house. The only time that didn't come into play, oh, got another NIFC found in a 2004 Denver. Cool. Update the board for there. Four NISCs. Come on. We need to find, we've got a proof. We've got NIFCs. What we need to find is some silver and a miscellaneous. Come on, guys. Let's see what's going on in the chat. It says, "See, you said we just looked down the road, and if the porch light was on, you better be in the house." Yep. How many parents used to flip on and off the porch light when it was the fact that you know you've gone way past your Time you're supposed to be there. As Ram says, inside by midnight for us, we had a blast, made up our own games, played, combined, but it was midnight because it was so much fun. Good old days. That's true. That's true. I remember um, during the summer months, we used to play a sort of a modified version of Kick the Can is every you know one person was it and they had to go out and find 
the register of the people. And if you got caught, you had to come up and sit on the front steps of the house. And there was a can out in the front. And uh, the other people could sneak, sneak up, kick the can. Once you kick the can, the person in jail could leave and go hide again. So we played that game kind of off, uh, off and on, especially during the summers in the cornfields. In the tobacco fields, of course, we also got yelled at for breaking too many stalks in the corn uh, during that time. But it was a good time. They would never be able to find me because I did the one thing. Since it was my house that we were playing at, we had this uh, CB antenna that was on the outside of the house. And I would climb up the CB antenna and hide behind the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the chimney. And I was always the one who would uh, wait for the person who was doing the hunting to leave. If he caught somebody, kick the can, then I run back up, climb back up the, uh, the antenna, and then uh, wait for everybody else. Carrie and Terry Kellogg, hello, welcome, welcome. Hey, look, I'll give you the VIP tree pin. We're not worthy. Thank you for coming. Papiagio, hey, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. So far, we ain't found any silver yet. Hopefully in the next row. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that there's going to be in the next row some sort of silver goodness that we can all have some nice time with. We can only turn all these 1974s that we're seeing into 1964s. That would be awesome. That's a nice looking uh, 1983. No, it's 1985. Pretty good shape. Well, Papa, we found four NISCs and one proof from 1981. That's what we found so far. It's on the board. No silver so far. We're skunked on silver. No, 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 Mr. Skunk. Get away from us. We don't want to see any more of you. We want to see some silver. Nothing from the side view. No, no. Hopefully Bella's not smelling any skunks either. Agent Washington's abandoned me. Left me with no silver. Hopefully it will come out. We're almost on the last roll of this box. Absolutely nothing so far. Hopefully there'll be something in here. Something we can say boom to, but nothing from the side view. As usual. Feel guys, bad guys that we're not finding any silver in this box. 
I think of all the bo uh, uh, things, this is the first, I think, skunk box that I've come across. Most time I at least have at least one. One. Come on. That's a, somebody marked up a pink. Half dollar. We even found a uh, holy one last time. Oh, well, Papiaggio says that you might have a chance to go out and metal detect a day. Well, hopefully you can do it, and hopefully you will have a successful hunt and find something cool buried in the ground that's been there for a while. Hopefully some silver, find some rosies, some Merc Dimes, some Standing Liberty Quarters, anything. Um, Samuel Phillips has done it now. He's found the old fish crackers. Welcome to post-apocalyptic pandemic my 600 pound life. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Some, something, something. We gotta find something. Some munches or crunches or something. <sighs> Bobby Ajo says, I usually just find zinc pennies and pole times. Well, maybe all my luck that I'm having in for this box and not finding any silver, hopefully will go over to you and you'll find something great today. Well, somebody's got to find something. If we're not finding it here, hopefully somebody will find something somewhere else. Got to, got to, got to find something. Nothing from the side view. Yo says, in 20 years, I only found one silver rosy and a few silver toe rings. But my best find was a buffalo and some Wheaties. And someone lost their drug pipe. Okay. Well, the 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 buffalo wheaties sounds really good. I, I, I don't think that uh, I care much for finding the other. Uh, Yeah, Samuel, go ahead and ask them. Can't hurt. Worst they can tell you is no, I don't, I don't think so. But, you know, most people are pretty often to let you get to do that and do some metal detecting. Might find some cool stuff. I hit right into the recycling bin. Come on. You know, maybe here's the problem. Let's 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 ring some silver over this thing, and maybe we can find some silver in it. Get some kind of blessing going.
Susie Q says she found three gold rings so far this year. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's see what this one is. Oh, just a dirty bicentennial. Oh, well. Susie Q says, I got a new metal detector in February and like it better than the one you had before. So what's what's the one you recommend? You know, I'm on the, the lookout of maybe finding one. Like I said, so I can go back and hunt my parents' property and this new property we have here. We got a little creek bed kind of woods behind the house that I wouldn't mind going out there and doing some metal detecting in. So what do y'all suggest? What do y'all, what, what is uh, the best brand to get? The best metal detecting, metal detector. Susie Q says a Nokia Micro Simplex Plus. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Nothing from the side view. Come on. We're almost down to the last five rows of this box. And so far we found some NIFCs and proof. No miscellaneouses and no silver. Simplex is waterproof and costs less than two hundred fifty dollars. Well, that's not bad. I guess my question is, plus they do firmware. Update. Oh, okay, that's cool. They do firmware updates on the thing. Now, do you know if those come in, like those kits, along with, you know, your your pin probe and all those other things? Poppy Ojo says I got my gear almost 20 years ago and it still works fine. That's cool. Yes, it's not over, S. Robbins, till it's over, till we get that last row. You never know what you're going to find in the hunt. I found, you know, a Merc dime in my uh, stepdaughter's pocket change that she kept during one of her moves. I found a W a quarter in pocket change that my stepson had. So, I mean, you just never know where you're going to find something coming back and change heck i've even you know i got a video out there where uh, we have uh, vending machines at work and by putting in you know quarters and dollars and and all those other things and hitting the change return you get different quarters and different dollars and you never know what you're going to find so you can even corn hunt on your break it work so you never know what you might find that's maximizing your coin hunting ability so evidently Susie Q had a Garrett and she sold it after uh, uh, she got the simplex Samuel Phillips says, I have some cheapo detector from the Heartland America catalog. 
but it might work okay if I use it right. <laughs> See, that's my problem. You know, I go, I'm the kind of guy that probably go out and buy a $800 metal detector and not probably use it right. Or I'd be saying it's too hot to go out there and do it. <laughs> of course, right now it's been some really nice weather uh, to go out and do some metal detecting. Uh, at least here on some of the days it's been around here. It's been kind of it's back and forth, you know, in North Carolina it seems to be, you know, wait five minutes and, you know, the weather's going to change because, you know, one minute it's it's chilly and cold, the next minute it's 80 degrees. Uh, I wish it would make up its mind and we can just move forward from there. There's one of those fooled 71s. It kind of looks silver, but not because it's colorized or somebody's colored the thing. You know, you know, Pete Dog, you said is, is the trick is to go bury stuff yourself. I'd bury it. I would go out there and bury it, and then I'd lose the thing because I would never know where I put it. I, I have a hard time walking out of a room and coming back in knowing what I went out there for to begin with. Old age. All right, guys. We are down to the last four rows in this box. So come on. Let's find us some silver. Susie Co says, I'm going to go fix lunch. I'll be still be listening, but not in the chat. Well, what, what are we having first? I need to know what we're having for lunch before you leave. Got to find out what Susie Q is fixing for lunch. Because I haven't eaten yet today, and I'm kind of hungry. So it might give me an idea of what I'm going to have after the stream's over. So it says, well, I know for a fact that my backyard was a trash dump for a while because when my parents tilled it up for gardening, there was tons of metal, metal glass, rusty nails, and some sort of all sorts of it. Well, that's pretty cool. You can at least find some stuff. That sounds cool. Being in North Carolina, you know, you know, there's a lot of you know Civil War stuff and uh, stuff like that. You can probably find old musket balls and stuff like that. So I'm anxious to see if I can find any of the Civil War relics or something to that effect. Plus, there's a lot of old houses around here that I wonder if they would allow me to to metal detect in the area. Samuel Phillips says, I'm having handfuls of goldfish in a Pepsi. Yes, I have a problem. Well, I'm not drinking Pepsi. I'm drinking Coke Zero. So here's, here's to you. Awful shiny 1997. That does not help us in the least at getting any silver. I'd ask Penny Dog what she's having for lunch today, but usually it's a steak and potato because we know how much Penny Dog loves her steak and behaviors. That sounds good too right now. 
It's a good steak, nice tater. Yep, we're going to do an in the box giveaway here in just a minute. You know, the other day I was watching on YouTube, I don't know about if you're like me, you know, you, you start looking through videos and going down rabbit holes because you can spend a lot of time there. Uh, and you start seeing things like um, Irish people first try, uh, you know, Krispy Kreme or, or stuff like that and end up watching those and then sooner or later I'm on the internet trying to order whatever they're trying uh, because... It gets you hungry. Well, guys, here we are. Down to the last row. Hopefully, there'll be some silver in here. Maybe if I peel it slower. Be nicer to it. It might get us a little bit more silver. Something. Anything. <sighs> nope. It looks like we ought to have a first dump box. Not a single silver in the box. That is, looks like what we're going. We did find a swampy coin though. Did find a swampy coin. All right. Well, unfortunately, only thing we found that was really good was this 1981 S Mint proof. Not too bad condition. That's the prettiest thing that we found in the boxes. So we can't be totally mad at that. So, let's see here. All right, so... As you know on my channel, we always like to look back and time travel back to the time in which these coins were minted. So this is a 1981. I figure we will go back in time to 1981 and see what happened. So let's fire up the time travel device. And we arrive at what happened in 1981. So, top news stories were the AIDS virus was identified in 1981. Iran hostage crisis ends. The Yorkshire Ripper was caught. Uh, Post-it notes was created and launched. Riots in UK cities. Anwar Sadat was assassinated. One of the most exciting was that the first flight of the Space Shuttle Columbia happened in 1991. 
It was also the first year of the of the world internet was mentioned, and Microsoft MS DOS was released by Microsoft along with the first IBM PC. On the world stage of events that captured imagination included Lady Diane Spencer marrying Charles Prince of Wales. In politics, a little-known group before solidarity expired popular protest and the general strike in Poland, and the government in UK starts the process of privatizing of the nation nationalized industries, which was later followed by many other countries around the world. So let's go look at the cost of living in 1981. So what were the cost of things? So the Dow ended at, uh, the Dow was at 875 back in 1981. The interest rates at the end of the year the Federal Reserve had was at 15.75%. The average cost of a new house was $78,200. Average income for the year was $21,050. The average monthly rent was only $315.81. Average cost of gas, gas was $1.25. So you would need almost three of these to get yourself a gallon of gas. Let's see. What else happened? The Verena 13 spacecraft was launched by Russia on October 30th of 1981. Poland striked more uh, martial law. Uh, military leaders in Poland declared a state of emergency and placed it international martial law. Senator Day O'Connor, President Reagan's appointed Senator Day O'Connor to the U.S. Supreme Court. That year, the popular film Raiders of the Lost Ark makes its debut in theaters throughout the United States in June of 1981. Pope John Paul II is shot on May 13th, but wasn't killed. And the DeLorean car from Back to the Future made its debut. debut. And that's it for our travel back in time. So let's get back to 2020, unfortunately. All right, guys, let's pick another winner of our giveaway and we are gonna be giving away Two more half dollars, one forty percent, one sixty, and the one excuse me, one ninety percent in the nineteen sixty four for today's channel. If y'all haven't got out there and got your comment, thank you, Penny Dog, for putting that out there for us. Yes, Poppy Ajo, you had to fill up the cars behind the license plate. Yep, pull the thing down, open it up, and put it. That's Roman says, I lived and ran a 50-acre ranch. My work paid the rent, 25 head of cattle. That's pretty good. But everybody loves steak. Uh, I, I like a nice thick one right now on the grill. All right, so let's get over here to the computer. Let's see if we refresh the comments. We have 22 comments on our video right now. Let's go ahead and refresh it one more time. All right, we'll slide down here. All right, guys, everybody, good luck. Here we go. And our winner is Texas Coin Man 69. I'll be there for it. Good luck hunting, and let's see some silver. Well, 
Unfortunately, we didn't find any silver. Hmm. But you got some silver. As with all of my videos, send me a comment to my email address with your shipping address and your YouTube name. You get seven days from this live stream to claim it, and I'll get it shipped out to you. Well, guys, thank you all for coming. It was a great stream. Sorry, I apologize. We didn't find any silver. We did find some NIFCs and a proof. So we can't be totally mad at the situation. Mr. Doughboy popping in here at the end. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Matter of fact, I, Mr. Doughboy356 has got me a one of his bells coming here pretty soon to the to me and I'll be doing a mail out uh, mail call shout out to him once it gets here. Thank you for that, Mr. Doughboy. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's a great guy and does these nice bells kind of like uh, Joe Durbin does. Again, guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for coming. Sorry about the silver again. As always, happy hunting, guys. Good luck. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you on the next stream. Hey, I'm back. Almost forgot. Hey, you know, thank you for moderating. Thanks to my mods. You did a great job. Thank you for using my, uh, let me use your time slot and for promoting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Penny Dog. Again, see y'all next stream. Good luck, happy hunting. Stay safe.